and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to do a wear test of the new ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I've had this for about two weeks now and I've been trying it out with different products, different tools to see how it works best for my dry skin. Again, I do have dry skin as in like super dry skin. So if whenever I use like matte foundations, it tends to break out on me. So it doesn't say um, matte on the packaging of it. On the website, it does say ColourPop No Filter Matte Foundation. So yeah, um, I actually got this along with the no filter concealer as well as the uh, Which I'm call it the press powder that comes with it But I found out that using it with the no filter concealer like the no filter foundation and the no filter concealer together Is a bit too drying for my face. So I am going to use um, different products today and for me to see how the no filter foundation blends in my skin. I want it to be the only new product that I'll use on my skin. Without further ado, I am gonna put this on. So yeah, let's get on to the video. On my headband so we can start. So I already um put sunscreen on my face and I also primed it using the NYX Hydro Touch Oil Primer. This I think is the best primer for my dry skin whenever I use like kind of a matte finish foundation. And just to show you guys, here is the packaging of the No Filter Foundation. It does come in a glass bottle with like those little stars. And then it doesn't have a cap, but it does have a pump, which is kind of good. And to lock it, you just twist it left or right. I am in the shade medium 110 because I felt like I was gonna tan a little bit more because it is summertime. And I didn't want to get a different foundation shade for, you know, when I'm tan and when I'm not tan. So. so here is shade 110. It kind of looks a little bit too yellowish on my hand right now and it's not also not too runny as you can see. So the way I like to apply this is actually going in with a foundation brush first and then blending it in with a beauty blender. But for today, I'm going to use my procedure, my procedure, my foundation brush then beauty blender on this side and then purely beauty blender on the other side just to show you guys. one layer on both sides so here is where when I used the foundation brush and then went in with a beauty blender and then here is just purely beauty blender surprisingly this this is the first time that this happened but I feel like this has more coverage like applying it directly with a beauty blender than you know going in with the foundation brush first so I think for the second layer I am just going to go ahead and apply it with the beauty blender Here is two layers of the foundation. I definitely feel like it's buildable, but like here in my forehead, it's super difficult to blend it in, which is weird. And totally fine, because this part seems like, you know, dewy. It has like a 
good dewy matte finish to it and I believe it's also because of the oil primer that I used prior to putting on the foundation. Which is really good because the foundation is kind of a demi matte finish and with my dry skin it would not work. So it looks beautiful with just the foundation on and now I'm going to put concealer under my eyes because I do have a little bit of puffiness and darkness under it. So yeah, um, like I said, I am using a different concealer, not the Colourpop one because the combination is just too drying for my skin. So I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now I'm going to set my entire face with using the Laura Mercier loose setting powder. So I'm not going to bake it but kind of just set it so it doesn't crease and you know those kind of things and so that it lasts throughout the whole day. to go ahead and finish the rest of my face makeup and I'll be right back to give you guys an update. Okay, so that took longer than expected. There is like ample lighting now. Actually, ample lighting. But yeah, anyway, here is the finished makeup look. Um, as you can see, it looks nice. It has like a dewy matte finish and that's what I told you guys earlier. And okay, I know I look a little too light in the camera, but that's because of all my lighting. But in... Person, it looks perfect with like my blush and my bronzer I said the shade is just right for my skin right now it's setting really nicely Panaman um, of course the beauty blender side is a lot better so that's weird because I've watched a ton of these videos and a lot of them said that using it with a brush is better but for me, the Beauty Blender side is a lot better looking. As in, mas seamless siya. As usual, the Beauty Blender never fails. But then the foundation side, I mean, I do have a little bit of some breakouts on this side of my face as well. So maybe that's why. Um, it's kind of looking a little bit um, cakey and it looks like it's breaking on my skin. But on the Beauty Blender side, it really just looks seamless but yeah um as i said i've used this foundation a lot and i already have my initial thoughts with this but for you guys i'm just going to do a quick wear test for today i will be working and i won't get home until like 6 30 so it's like alexa what time is it the time is 8 4 a.m so it's 8 4 right now 8 to 9 9 10 10 11 11 12 12 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 so this will be a 10 hour wear test because I will be getting home at like 6 p.m. today. So yeah, that's 10 hours, 8 to 6 p.m. today. Um, I'll, I will try my best to check in with you guys and uh, if I see that it's kind of wearing off, I'll try to reapply a little bit of pressed powder. Um, the Colourpop No Filter Press Powder is what I'll use. Um, I did get the shade Medium Dark, so I'll bring my camera along with me. And I will be sure to show you guys that and I'll see you guys later when I check in. The foundation is still looking good. It's been, what, three hours? No, two hours since I applied it and it's looking good even with the humidity outside. So yeah, I'll be right back later to update you guys some more. So it's a four hour time check of my foundation. Looking at it, okay, my mascara smudged. That's weird. That's a first. Okay, looking at it from me. Like my camera, it looks okay. I don't really have a mirror with me. No, I do. Yeah, I do have a mirror. My Colourpop press palette. Looking at it right now, it still looks kind of okay. I mean, but like on the side of my nose right here, it's starting to like break and peek through. Like the foundation is starting to peek through. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but I'm going to take photos. You see how it's already breaking all over? 
Mm, so I'm gonna use this to kind of pat it a little bit and see how that works. Okay, so the press powder is kind of good. It refreshed it a little bit, but I'm not sure if you can see that on camera. It's breaking right here. I'll be right back to give you another update. Okay, so it is 6 p.m. now and we got some awful lighting like the sun is about to set so please ignore that. And I'm just here to give you guys an update about the No Filter Foundation. As I said in my earlier update like 4 hours, I believe 4 hours after I applied it, it was already starting to break up on my skin and right now it just got a lot worse. Like it's starting to see how it's like... So I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but it's like breaking up in this area as well as this area right here. We're in, it's like, there's um some cracking that's going on. I'm not sure if that's seen on camera, but from my mirror, I can definitely see that. And I did try to like reapply the powder. I don't think it helped in any way or if it did anything at all. I'm not sure if the powder that I applied helped or if it did anything at all. I'm not entirely sure if you can see it on camera that it's like really breaking out on my skin. Like it's cracking. That's what's going on right here on these areas. And it's so weird because I'm not even like oily. So I don't see why it will like break apart. So I just want to give you guys my initial thoughts. I told you guys that I've already tried this foundation for a couple of times now throughout the whole weeks, throughout the whole weeks, throughout the two weeks. And I've been really using all my good primers, good tools and whatnot and nothing seems to work. Like the first time I apply it, it looks amazing, demi matte. It looks natural with like um, coverage but as it wears throughout the whole day, it just breaks apart on your skin. I don't know if it's only because of my dry skin or if it's or if I'm not doing it right or if I really have to find a way to make it work but in my case for a $12 foundation in my opinion for a $12 foundation I don't think it's something that you may need to find a way to make it work because I don't think $12 is a good price for the ColourPop foundation if it if it's something that I do have to quote unquote make it work for it to actually work because it kind of diminishes the function of like an easy to use blendable foundation wherein I can find that in any drugstore foundation, not any drugstore foundation, but in most of the drugstore foundations that I own and are all priced a little bit cheaper than the ColourPop foundation. I mean, it, it, it's a good thing that they have a lot of shades too, but the thing is, it doesn't really work for my skin, so that's what I don't like about it. And to be honest, it has the same effect on my skin with the Fenty Beauty Foundation. So if the Fenty Beauty Foundation, then if that works for you, then I guess maybe the No Filter Foundation will work with you as well. But for my skin type, I don't think it's really working for me. It looks so cakey and so... I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure if it's showing on camera, but hopefully you guys can see how it's just really breaking apart on my skin. But yeah, anyway, that's it for today's video. And that's my opinion regarding the No Filter Foundation. If you like it, then yay for you. It works for you. But if you didn't like it, then we're on the same boat. So yeah, um, if you do want to get the No Filter Foundation, I'll put a link down in the description bar of ColourPop's website. And a great thing about it is they do ship internationally. So yay to everybody. And yeah, um, that's it for today's video. If you like this video and if you find it helpful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!